Today, I'm speaking with Bjorn Coleman, Director of Sustainability at Ball Corporation, for part one of a two-part series about the company's commitment to sustainability. This year, Ball Corporation has identified six major sustainability priorities, innovation, operations, talent management, recycling, supply chain, and community. I'd like to start off by asking how Ball decided on its sustainability priorities, and why those six. Ball's corporate sustainability priorities were really identified through an extensive stakeholder engagement process. One of the tools we use to better understand our stakeholders' interests is an online questionnaire where we ask um, several internal and also external stakeholders, such as customers, retailers, or investors, what sustainability topics they believe are important for Ball. Ultimately, the results of this survey and the insights from our ongoing media analysis are transferred to a so-called materiality matrix. This matrix basically shows what sustainability topics are relevant for our external stakeholders and for us when there is a topic such as, say, packaging recycling that both consider being important, we make it one of our corporate sustainability priorities. So let's start with recycling. Ball Corporation is the largest producer of recyclable beverage cans in the world. Bjorn, what is Ball's role in the recycling loop and where does the company focus its efforts? We continuously strive to further reduce the environmental footprint of our packaging and the number one lever to achieve that is through increasing recycling rates of our packaging. Today, cans are the most recycled beverage and food package in the world. Ball's metal containers are 100% and infinitely recyclable. This is a huge advantage of cans. They can be recycled into a new product again and again and again without having the metal ever losing its inherent properties. Most other substrates, such as PET or cardboard, are typically downcycled. They lose their properties with each life cycle. And when you recycle aluminum beverage cans, you also save up to 95% of the energy that's typically used for producing virgin aluminum. Recycle one can and you save up, uh, save as much energy as it takes to run your TV for about three hours. These are just some of the reasons why we support several collection and recycling programs around the world. Typically, we focus our efforts on countries where we see the biggest need to support regional recycling systems. One example is Poland in Europe. When we opened our beverage can plant there in 1994, beverage can recycling rates were at about 2%. So in 1995, we launched the Recal Foundation in Poland that focuses on educating young people about the benefits of can recycling. And we started a separate business called ReCan that helped to physically collect cans throughout the country. Both organizations contributed to increase recycling rates. Poland's beverage can recycling rate hit the 72% rate in 2010. What role does sustainability play in Ball's innovation efforts? We have integrated sustainability in our multi-step innovation process around the globe. Each new product idea is evaluated from various perspectives its environmental footprint, among other aspects. Many people today talk about packaging and sustainability. Unfortunately, some people think more sustainable packaging just means the weight of the packaging needs to be reduced. But they sometimes miss to see the bigger picture. First of all, yes, we have successfully reduced the weight of our packaging. A 12-ounce beverage can, for example, is 40% lighter today than it was in the 1970s. And these lightweighting achievements are important for our economic as well as the environmental bottom line. But if you take too much material out of packaging, this can also lead to a higher environmental burden at the end of the day. The integrity of the packaging might be negatively affected and, as a consequence, the product inside might have to be thrown away. And by the way, typically the product itself has a much larger environmental footprint than the packaging that protects it. So it's really more about optimizing packaging weight, not necessarily about reducing packaging weight. Food waste in general is a big challenge today. About 40% of the food produced in the U.S. is never eaten. Consumers throw away approximately 25% of what they purchase. And the amount of per capita food waste has doubled since the mid-1970s. Overall, food waste represents a loss of 160 billion U.S. dollars per year. That's why cans are part of the solution. Cans help prevent food waste, they extend use periods, prevent damage, provide the right portion sizes, and, depending on what our customers print on the label, can also help with consumer education. 
Thanks, Bjorn, for taking the time to talk to us about Ball Corporation's commitment to sustainability. Stay tuned for part two of the series that will discuss the operations, supply chain, talent management, and community priorities. For more information on Ball and its products, visit www.ball.com.